Okay, what cool stuff do you have now? So this is the uh, titanium magnetic ferrous tester. It's a mouthful, but hey, let's get let's get into it. Uh, small key 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 ring here. Okay. Tit titanium, all titanium, including the living spring, which you guys are I think familiar with, comes with it. And so there's a little plastic cap we take off, protects the magnet. Okay. There is an N50. Uh, that's the rating on the magnet. It's an N50 magnet Which in is there. Pretty strong. It's pretty strong magnet. It's okay. a Gauss rating is N50. Uh, neodymium magnet in there, and so all titanium here, all titanium here in the ring. So fully titanium except for the magnet. And the nice thing is, it's it's just a high quality magnetic piece that's for testing. Uh, I've seen cheap ones where are made out of pot metal and really yeah. look crude. And so Which hey, we wanted to step it up. It's titanium. This is badass. Keep this on your keys or, you know, keep it away from things that are magnetically sensitive. But um, what would you use this for? Well, uh, if you're testing metals to say, hey, is this a tweezer? Is this tweezer? It's, magnetic? it's magnetic, you know, and, you know, yes, very, very magnetic. So these are stainless, but it's low grade stainless. And typically higher end stainless steel is uh, has more nickel content in it. So probably 300 series. So this is good for testing that. If it has a low magnetic signature, would hardly touch it, but this is very strong uh, attraction. So of course, and then these, these are our titanium tweezers, and there you go, no effect, right? No effect. No magnetic. And here's our new um, our COM card, you know. Oh. Hey, is this you know stainless steel? No, it's not, it's, it's titanium. Nothing. Nothing, it's nothing. You notice they look very similar as far as the, the, the uh, titanium. They're both grade five. So what could you use this for? Well, if you were in a machine shop and you had something with, uh, you, know, you know, you wanted to test the material to see if it was magnetic or not, uh, this is what you would use. Now here is a eight pound, it's four kilos. Uh, this is a meteorite, a real meteorite. And I did not find the meteorite with this magnet, but I know people do uh, find, you know, meteorites. And this thing is uh, has a strong magnetic influence. And I, I'm actually starting to, pull this with the magnet as you can see, can see and so it's got a pretty strong pull on this but uh, that's what they use for testing uh, meteorites because yeah, they have a lot of nickel and iron this is a that's a big meteorite so yeah you can see that I could actually start to almost lift it but so there it is this is the titanium magnetic ferrous tester by County Comp. It is grade five. Okay. The magnet is slightly recessed. Hey, I used mine the other day. I had lost a tiny little, I was working on a radio project. Dropped I a lost screw. a tiny screw in the carpet. Yep, and sucked it yeah. right up, right? Just dragged it as, across. And, and as soon as I heard the click, oh, I found it. So you were magnetically fishing, I think. I was, that's I, that's, a, that's I the was, term, right? Yeah, I was magnet fishing. That's right. So this, this weighs 0.65 ounces. So just a little over half an ounce. And uh, pretty cool for picking up debris, you know, a bit of screws. Hunting meteorites, Hunting I guess. Meteorites. You know, I guess you can find small ones. Yeah, you know, I can see the scrap yard. You know, scrap yard, is steel, aluminum, uh, something that's on? painted. You know, hey, here's some some RF connectors there. I'm sure something iron. Oh no, look at that. It's pretty high grade. Oh, it looks a little bit of magnetic signature. Look at that. See, very very little, very very little. So high grade high grade connector. So it would tell me that it's got a high nickel content. And so yeah, there you go. And it comes with the cap. And you know, the cap's handy if you have like a ground uh, magnetic dust or something and you want to clean up all the, the metal filings. Oh. Uh, so it would stick to the uh, it would stick to the cap and then you could pull the cap off and it would dislodge there. The other thing is people put this in a plastic bag and then oh. you know pick pick it up that way and then pull the bag off and it, invert the bag invert the bag and then you know, no mess. The mess is inside the bag and the magnet is free. So pretty handy little device. So. It could save uh, save you time if you drop the screw somewhere where you between some rafters or I something. I can see hooking that up to a fishing string and you know yeah. recovering a lost screw. And we'll talk you know. about maybe you want to hook this to a piece of Dyneema. We'll talk about that Dyneema. next. Dyneema, okay. yeah, that's coming next. Next video. Thanks okay. for watching.